Hi there, welcome back. This is Literary Goa, the program that looks at books and authors and everything writing related to Goa. My name is Frederick Norona. Today we have with me Inacio A. Fernandez, right? Uh, Inacio has done a rather unusual thing that is to start a writing based startup, you know. So this startup is based at SIBA, the Center for Incubation and Business Acceleration yes. run out of Verna, Father Agnel's Verna. Uh, and uh, Inacio, do you care to tell us a bit about uh, Novella, what it does, how it works, what's it model, what its model is? Uh, primarily, Novella is uh, for authors. It's a platform for authors to come and showcase their talent in short story fiction. In a word, in a word, you're trying to get more young people to write. Yes, and also reading. So both go okay. complementary, and okay. one supports the other. So it's today in this fast-moving world, we are all. Uh, we don't want to read long novels or long literature. We are trying to cut short and read short things. So short stories are a perfect fit, especially to read off the screen yeah. of a mobile phone. Yeah. So that's why uh, we are promoting short stories uh, in fiction rather. When we talk about startups, we have this idea of tech startups doing something in the world of technology. Mm -hmm. I found it very unusual that uh, your startup looks at writing. Okay. So what exactly pushed you into focusing on this aspect of startups? Uh, Many youngsters, uh, specifically those who are, say, in their mid-30s or something, of my age, maybe. You are uh, 32? Yes. Okay. So, they have all caught up with their daily routines, okay, maybe a job or something. They might have written once when they were in school, so, but they want to write, they want to express themselves. So, it is an outlet for such kind of people who can pursue writing and their spare time and also keep that passion alive. So you feel that creating this platform is important in a place like Goa? Yes, not just Goa, it's, okay. uh, it's outside it's a, It's outside also, it's, it's a global phenomenon. So anyone can from anywhere could, uh, could uh, get, uh, you know, uh, published here or access? Yes, in fact, I have two foreign authors writing I see. Okay, from the US. I see. And uh, yeah, uh, most of like around 400 authors are on the platform right now. How does it work? Uh, the uh, participants or the authors, they send in their work, uh, their short stories, they upload it on uh, novella.co.in, that's the website. And after they upload, uh, it comes to our team for approval. Yeah. So we check whether it is good enough to go on uh, online or uh, it needs some work. Okay. If it is good enough, then uh, we publish it right away and it's available for the authors to share it across uh, his relatives or friends on Facebook. So others can also come and read the story. If it requires some work, then we send out, a, uh, we put a note and we return it back to the author's drafts so that they can read the editor's notes and say change something. Most of the time, it is uh, mostly improper formations of sentences or grammar. That, uh, that's why we have to send the stories back. So at the moment, it's only short stories. The focus is entirely on short stories, yes, right? Yes, entirely short stories. And the language is English as of now. Okay. In future, we might venture into Hindi. So uh, you actually uh, came out with uh, this book called The Purple Jacket and other short stories from Goa. Yes. And it contains some, it's a print version of some of the short stories that have actually been uh, on the website. On the website. Yes. Would you like to introduce uh, this book and tell us about it? Okay. The Purple Jacket has uh, 15 short stories okay. Okay, written by 15 authors. Uh, seven of them are college students, six of them are uh, school students, and two young professionals. Uh, it was very surprising or very uh, very surprising to no, uh, note that two of the authors all are men, all remaining are females. I see. So, yes. Uh, do you feel that young people have a special need to get started? Yes. Uh, if they start in the very beginning, maybe in when they are, say, seven standards and onwards, if they get that feel of uh, writing, yeah. then perhaps as they say, graduate from college, 
they will become mature author, uh, authors rather so what are the themes that this uh, book uh, tackles it, it has uh, like romance it has tragedy it has uh, uh, childhood adventures and okay, like finding out uh, uh, mysteries okay so it covers wide range of uh, genres on the book rather you've had a lot of workshops i've uh, attended one or two and mm. you know just observed and i find that uh, you know the youngsters are very caught up in uh, giving their best in getting yeah. getting uh, validation that they can write right. is that important in in building them very much very much and it is you feel really good when you hear the stories that come out from such uh, youngsters and okay? it gives a, it makes your job very satisfying any success stories you want to talk about so maybe without mentioning names or whatever that uh, you know how this platform has kind of boosted their own confidence in themselves is that correct yes i have uh, people who you know, youngsters who keep on writing uh, short stories uh, and then uh, parents parents are really delighted that they have something yeah. that they can introduce to their child and also see how creative the child can be as children they are storytellers but how we help them to write their stories yeah. is what uh, astonishes the parents like they didn't they never knew that their child can write stories i see and then they are uh, very excited about it especially when they are sharing those stories with their f- family and friends i see so i feel like the parents are more excited than the children i see so they keep uh, sharing it with their uh, this uh, in us when uh, when i came across this i was quite interested by the number of things that you all do so maybe you could introduce you know not just novella but the parent company which is creador solutions and uh, you know what is the range of activities that you envisage for yourself okay yeah the parent company is creador solutions uh, we formed in 2017 we are a tech based company so we develop websites mobile apps and also do digital marketing for companies uh apart from these services we have two products that we are marketing and promoting one is novella which is a short story platform and the other is sobd a konkani audio bible app that we have built so it's with audio that, how does that work yeah so on a daily basis like you will be getting a reflection by, given by a priest okay or a learned person in the church and uh, it basically helps you to reflect on the day's reading so imagine yourself going for work every day okay and uh, you can plug this put on the app plug uh, start the daily reading and the reflection and on your way uh, to work you have already done yes. your prayer kind of so it is just like podcast it's an app it's an app it's an app it also reminds you to do your angelus at uh, say 12 noon 7 7 uh, 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 pm and the rosary at 8 or at any time that you choose with an alarm bell or something it rings the church bell i see i see, yeah. I see. so you have a church bell right in your pocket and it's in konkani it's in konkani so you were mentioning that it's also a tool to learn the language in a way in a way yes like if someone wants to uh, learn konkani or want to refresh their konkani yeah. okay they can uh, listen to the bible text which is in Kon- uh, rumi script and also hear okay so that way you can uh, learn the other is the praying the rosary so it's repetitive and you might pick up on the words that are used in the formulas so yes it uh, can be a tool to learn konkani in fact uh, it is uh, really interesting to note okay the app is m- used mostly by people in london and gulf i see then in goa really? actually really? so those people who miss konkani a lot i appreciate it absence makes the heart grow fonder kind of Maybe. thing <laughs> uh, tell us your your own story i do know that uh, i know you as a young seminarian in pilat okay. and then you went into technology yes and Almost tell us about the journey into books also i mean how are the three connected okay uh i should credit uh, my uh, liking to writing to you <laughs> rather i i remember that short course we had at uh, yes. east when many years back maybe many years 15 back. years back or so yeah i guess uh, 2003 no, 2004 okay. 2004 it was okay. 
So, so, but uh, from from uh, pillar to technology, what was that journey? You actually spent some time learning tech. Uh, no, when in the seminary only, yeah. like uh, I was given the uh, stream to pursue was uh, BCS, that's Bachelor see. of Computer Science. I see. So that was in Nagpur uh, that I did from 2006 to 2009. I see. And uh, it was in my final year that I decided that I am not uh, uh, called for the uh, yeah. for this life, uh, for life of uh, missionary calling. And then uh, I then pursued like uh, this is a different calling in that sense. Yes. So, technology, technology for a while. Uh, technology, yes, for a while. Uh, eight long years I worked in uh, IT companies rather. And then uh, you you said that you, I remember talking sometime that you always had this love for the printed word and reading and things like that. So you, you combine both, you combine technology. Right. So that's what has ha had happened. Like uh, I was doing my MBA when I got excited, uh, interested in economics and entrepreneurship. So these are two electives that I had taken I see. in I my see. MBA. And uh, then I did my research and my paper on entrepreneurial economics so when i was researching i said why not try it on my own? like first hand uh, experience and that's when i was thinking on what to start with okay i need an idea that i need to pursue so technology was there i was a, i'm a qualified oracle certified associate uh, in database administration and uh, so i said like why not uh, go for website development and the others and create something of my own uh, so novella was first that came to my mind. But you took it much further, no? I mean, because it's not just website. It's some some uh, it's some way where you're actually trying to organize writers, to build writers, to right. create a platform. So right. it's much more than yes. So it evolved rather. Like I was thinking on what to do with, and it so happened like I was working in Mumbai, okay, and I had to travel from uh, Marine Lines to Andheri. My office was in Andheri, and. As usual, I used to carry a book to I read while, uh, in, while in the journey. And uh, that's where uh, I realized, like, when I'm getting into the train, there's a break. Okay, when I'm getting out of the train, there's a break. Okay, yeah. then I'm to catch a bus to the office. Okay, then running to the bus, taking... So, it was everywhere, I was not getting the continuity. And uh, that is why, from novels, I switched to short stories. Now, the problem with short stories was they used to get over fast. The book used to get over fast and I had to go and buy another one. So that's where it struck me while in the local train. Why not create a platform where people can contribute short stories and I have a long uh, repository of uh, short stories. And be able to read it online also. Online, no? yes. You can be able to read it online. Uh, so that's where novella came in. It gave an outlet for me, okay, where I had forgotten the author in me, like where I used to write stories or yeah. I used to write something at least. Uh, it gave me an outlet there. So I also started revisiting that author within me. Inasio, there is this uh, feeling that young people don't read, they don't want to read. But what you're telling us is that they actually, if you give them the op opportunity, hmm. they can actually write themselves. Yes. So uh, you don't feel that this uh, vision is true that young people don't read and this kind of perspective. I think so. They read a lot. Okay. They are glued to their phones all the time. At least uh, today, if you go to Facebook feed on your phone, yeah. okay, you have many content websites that throw out uh, content at you. It's mainly maybe with top tweets or paparazzi news or political commentary. They are reading it. Mm. Okay. Uh, I mean, but instead of this kind of content, why not throw uh, creative content, a literary piece, wherein they can read something of art. Okay? Right. And the, this, with that same idea was a novella we started. So since you started novella, what all activities you have done so far and which work better than others? Uh, with novella, the platform, uh, we are doing competitions regularly. And that's where I feel like a lot of entries do come, short stories come, people want to participate in contests. I see. Yeah, that is one. The other inlet uh, that we have created is the workshops. Okay. We go approach schools and ask them uh, 
that we would like to do a workshop, to a two-day workshop with them. And uh, most of the schools are actually welcoming us. I see. And we create those authors. Say, out of uh, the 30 in each workshop uh, they come, I get at least 50 to 60 stories. I see. So, yes, uh, that is uh, working for us as of Sometimes it's so important just to get people started, no? because yes. if they get started, their confidence grows. And, you know, it's always that teacher in school who encouraged us and told us, you can write, you're good at it. Right. That really, really got us moving in that sense. So, right. so you're, you're playing this role. Yes. And when actually people, uh, especially the youngsters, uh, young kids, they see their work published. Okay? It gives them it's a, a different, big moral boost. Different big moral, moral boost. boost. Yes. And that... It's not just that uh, person who is getting motivated. Yeah. It's even his peers. Yeah. Okay, they see, okay, Frederick's story has come on novella. Yeah. So if he can write, I can write. I can write. And but, it's a free platform, so they can always come. And but on the other hand, do you feel that uh, you might, you know, be promoting the wrong people or giving them false hopes? Is that a fear or it, it, it balances itself out? I think so. Over the course of time, it will balance it out. Like... Uh, if at all from this whole exercise that we do, yeah. even if it uh, touches, uh, if we get one successful author, I think so. True. It's a it's a it's a long process, but it works. It, it works. works. It takes time, you know, and people mm. have to work at it. And it's yes. a question of building their confidence and right. so many other things. What are the major challenges that you face in keeping this initiative growing? Because I'm sure that as far as Siba is concerned, mm. there are very a uh, few people who would have thought along these lines or even, uh, you know, actually implemented. Uh, uh, the challenges are mostly uh, when it comes in terms of generating revenue for the platform. Hmm. So that's a challenge that we face. Okay. Because people are a bit reluctant to pay for something which they don't know in that right. sense. No? So, so, and uh, everyone wants it free, but then the yeah. thing has to sustain itself also. Right? Because there are so many costs and... Yes, so far uh, the book publication, the book has paid for itself and uh, the other revenue streams that we have is when you visit our website, okay, you will be seeing Google ads. I see. Okay? You can also opt out of the Google ads by paying a premium subscription. I see. To I see. So that is one uh, revenue that we, are, we, we have. The other revenue is the workshops that we are doing. Okay? Yeah. So uh, we can conduct the workshop in the schools. Okay. But someone sponsors it. So I some see. company sponsors. So at the moment you are holding a series of workshops. Yes. Here. So uh, just uh, three or six or. In the month of June we had uh, three workshops. I see. We did it one in Saint Thomas High School, Kansaulam. Uh, second one we did it in Saint Aloysius in Banaulam, mm. and the third one we did it in Fatima Convent High School Marga. in Marga. So the response has been really good, and I'm very happy that in one week. I could touch 90 lives where I it could give them hope that they can write. Yeah, because creative writing is something that young people don't get access to very easily right. in that sense. No? There's no such platform to... Right. And today with uh, so much competition with academics, people have forgotten that this art. And they, they very conveniently... Uh, overlook it. Overlook it. They don't encourage it. Because they feel like the other academics are more important. Tell us a bit about SIBA, the Center for Incubation and Business Acceleration. What are the other colleagues of yours doing there? What kind of products, what kind of innovation is happening there? Uh, right now, Center for Incubation and Business Acceleration in SIBA, uh, they have uh, two campuses, one in Asagaon and one in uh, Verna. Verna. Okay. Both under the Pilar, uh, yeah. Pilar Verna. Yes, both are under Pilar Society. Society. Uh, Supported by Government of India. Uh, I might not have okay. any clarification okay. on that, okay. they might be able to tell you that. Uh, but yes, the initiatives that they have, they have, uh, at least in Verna, mm -hmm. they have uh, Goa's largest 3D printing hub now, um, which is, you must come and visit. I see. Okay. There's a lot of, uh, you know, prototyping happening there. Uh, apart from that, there are companies who are uh, working in digital marketing, uh, then uh, robotics, I see. then uh, uh, experiences like adventure. So there are companies. Uh, food, a few in food, no? Yes. Very, uh, yeah. It's it's interesting. I mean, like they have a food lab as well. So food you can lab. come and even test out test certain out. things, products, or right, right, whatever. 
uh, in Asagao there is one mention that I would do is Acting Kindly. It is run by Greg Akona. Uh, it's a very interesting concept. He has created a deck game. Which a, a what game? Deck game. A playing cards okay. kind okay. of game. Deck, yeah. Which promotes kindness. I see. Among uh, the children. I see. Uh, so, uh, preach, uh, teaching values through through, yes, uh, through, the cards. through games. Gaming, gaming, I think. No? Yes. Yeah, I know Greg. I know Greg in that sense. Very interesting. Yeah. From here, where? What is the path ahead? Uh, what are the expansion roles? I know it's a tough field because mm. uh, writing takes a lot of time to mature for people to, yeah. you know, try you out and be willing to, to take a risk and, you know, check it, check it out yeah. whether it works for them. Yeah. But what are the steps ahead as far as you are concerned? Uh, we want to increase our uh, reach from uh, uh, the nation, okay, from India to everywhere where English is spoken and read. Mm. So that is what we want to achieve. Today, uh, you know, our readership is mostly coming from uh, states like West Bengal and Kerala. Uh, which are in any case very deep reading states. Yes. They have a long library culture, they have a good reading ecosystem, they have reading movements right. for decades. So. Right, right. And uh, slowly we need to encourage that here as well in Goa. Uh, so, so far like our authors are from Delhi, Noida, Kolkata, Chennai, uh, Bangalore, Mangalore, I see. Kerala, Navi Mumbai, Mumbai, Delhi, I see. and uh, Goa. It's strange no? because sometimes the bigger cities wake up to this faster and yes. you know smaller places take right. time. But anyway, Inasio, it's really nice to have you here and I appreciate the time you spent to come across despite the transport and other hurdles. Uh, wishing you all the best, looking forward to many more initiatives and all the best to novella.in. Novella.co.in. That's your site. You'd like to say a word about your site? Yeah, that's uh, uh, novella.co.in is where you can uh, come and submit your sh short stories and we will uh, be happy to publish it on the platform. Uh, you want to read sh short stories, we have 500 plus short stories on the platform as of now and growing steadily and surely. Thank you and all Thank the best. Thank you very much.